Hey guys, sitting down with Allie Schultz from Nomad Boutique today to talk about some summer fashion and how she's doing, how her online store is doing uh, during this weird time. So I'm going to pin a comment. Hi, Mags. Okay. Okay. So let's bring Allie in. We're going to have a good fun chat again uh, about fashion and just seeing how during this time, COVID, we've been quarantined and it's been a crazy time. So I wanted to bring together some local business people in our community and see how they are staying resilient through all of this madness. So let's bring her in. All right. There she oh, is. Yeah. Hi. How's it going? <laughs> Good. How are you? Good. The hat queen herself. <laughs> I have Look my hat those. wall behind me. <laughs> oh my God. I love it. So how funny. are you? I'm good. Good. Thanks for joining me. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Just want to <laughs> chat about, you know, see how you're doing with your store and you personally and just wanted to bring our Reno Tahoe community together and just know that we're all in this together and ways that we can support one another as individuals and as businesses um throughout the community so oh well, yeah. thank you for doing that appreciate of that awesome. yeah so just if you guys don't know Allie um some fun things about her she is a Truckee Tahoe local born and raised girl like myself <laughs> there's very very few of us actually that are still around and not to mention very few of us for you who have started a business and were born and raised in the Truckee area, which is so awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I moved to Truckee when I was like seven. So I've, I've mostly been. You are, Truckee. you are though. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wait, aren't they saying like eight to 10 years you're considered local? I mean, yeah, I don't know I think, if I agree with that, but you're I think I'll local. count it. <laughs> yeah. 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 But, um, and we also went to Truckee High together. For we did. A little yeah. bit, and she was setting trends back then, and she's still setting trends now. <laughs> um, oh, and you're stop. total boss babe, and you opened your first boutique in Truckee at 26. Yeah. yeah, that's right. It was super exciting. I was living up on High Street. I was living in like a really small apartment um, with my or husband, I should say now, who's <laughs> to the right of me. Yay. And yeah, um, started off as an online store. And then that was doing well. And I was able to um, open up the brick and mortar store in downtown Truckee. And then two years later, the Reno store. So it's yeah. been fun. And it feels really weird to not be there right now and be with my employees all the time. So yeah, it's just been like a really weird adjustment. But um we're definitely surviving and staying positive and just seeing how this all unfolds and just trying to take it day by day. So, yeah. And on a personal note, I mean, how are you doing and what are you doing to kind of keep yourself sane and motivated <laughs> during all of this weird, strange time? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm doing good. I've just been super busy with my online store. I'm here at my warehouse right now and um the online store has been doing good so that's been keeping me really busy and i've just been trying to focus on that and just been trying to like remind myself to stay positive and you know enjoy this like weird downtime that we have right now i've never okay. had a break like this between my two businesses and it felt really weird at first but i'm kind of you know getting into my routine of things and yeah um yeah but i'm just super excited to hopefully get back to running the stores and you know being with my employees and doing what we love and stuff like that so yeah totally well tell us a little bit about I know God, you you've you've been so successful over the last few years I mean opening the the Reno store and I know you had to get a bigger warehouse and you're just you're blowing up girl so right now yeah. obviously <laughs> the online is where you're focusing so tell us about yeah. your online store and 
what you're currently doing and then we'll kind of pop around to the what's coming up in the summer fashion trends okay yeah well more than ever i'm focusing on online um ever since i got this warehouse that i'm at now i've just really been putting like all of my energy into the online store because you know when i'm selling to customers in the tahoe Truckee area it's just people in that general area but with the online store it's really incredible to you know like see the promise and um just like kind of how far you can take whatever you're growing if you're growing it online just because there is that worldwide market so right now more than ever especially since my stores are shut down we're um, doing a lot of like giveaways and uh, shipping promos and stuff like that just to encourage people to shop online with us um, yeah but yeah I think that anyone who has a retail store if you don't have an online store it's time to get on it <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah. And is there any, I mean, aside from that advice, is there any advice that you would give to other stores in the local area or other business owners right now? Yeah, definitely. Just to remind yourself to stay positive and just to create balance without, you know, going to the stores every day. It's hard to, you know, not get down on yourself and just think about all the things that you could be doing to try to survive through this scary period. But um, I would just say to stay positive and then to also stay consistent with your postings. Um, I get most of my sales through my social media. So I've really been trying to make sure that I'm posting multiple times a day and that I always have like new things coming out, keeping people excited and stuff like that. And then I also recommend to get outside of your bubble and try new things that you've never tried before. I really want to try to do Facebook live shows. I've talked about this so much, but Yay. yeah, I'm just really like nervous to do it, but I'm going to be doing those. Um, I think it's a really great way to show people your product and like show your personality and show, you know, kind of the person behind the brand. So I'm going to be doing that. And I definitely would recommend um, business owners to put themselves out there. It's so scary, but like we're doing yeah. right now, like pop on Instagram live, make um, YouTube videos, make, you know, just anything you can that you haven't done before to see what gains traction with your customers. So. Yeah. And tell us, I mean, you have a YouTube channel too, and you have <laughs> a really great following. So I mean, tell us a little bit about it. You I do. do. I do. It was a secret for the longest time. Like my mom just found out about it like two years oh ago. God. Yeah. My friends, I told them because for the longest time I was just talking to myself and it feels really weird. You kind of feel like a loser yeah. and no one watches you at first. And you're like, this is, you're like, why am I doing this? <laughs> yeah. You're like, I'm not cool. But, um, so yeah, I just kind of, uh, started that in my apartment when I first started my boutique because I wanted to have kind of like a video diary to look back on because yeah. it was so exciting for me at the time and I just wanted to you know look back and see it and then it's kind of evolved into helping other boutique owners open businesses and stuff like that which I'm really passionate about yeah that's awesome yeah okay so now it's almost well it is almost summer it's May 1st so I feel like that that means it's summer the weather's been great so what yeah. I mean from your online store first, what have you seen people buying right now? And what are the new trends that we'll be seeing this summer that we can buy online and go into yeah. your store once it opens and actually yeah. try on and have fun with your employees? <laughs> Definitely. Um, the main thing we're selling right now are skirts. So like really bold patterned skirts. We have a lot of wrap skirts, midi skirts, but mainly leopard print skirts. Yes. So that's selling a lot right now. Um, our hats, because we promote them so much, because I love hats. <laughs> They're always a great seller. Yeah. Um, and she then... She posted a great photo on her Instagram, so you guys have to check it out for sure. It's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's my little hat room. I'm really <laughs> excited about that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I would just say like skirts, hats, and then... Um, Believe it or not, I don't know why, but like event dresses are selling. So that makes me really happy because it tells me that people are like hopeful for the future and that they're yeah. looking forward to getting back to life as we, you know, like once knew it. So that's a good thing because where's somebody going to wear like a beautiful ball gown, you know? Right. Yeah. And you yeah. guys always have such great dresses for weddings, for any event, for you know, formal, casual occasions. I know I've definitely purchased a few of those. So that's oh. good to see. Yeah, you look good in everything you buy. 
Oh God, thanks. This is a Nomad shirt. I put it on. I was oh like, my I God. To find something from Nomad, which I, I think I remember that one. I'm in there all the time, and your employees are so amazing. They're always. Aww. I feel like they are starting to know my face, which is yes. I don't know if that's a good thing <laughs> or not. No, we love our regulars. We love yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah, you guys help us keep the lights on, so thank yeah. you. Yeah, and then obviously, okay, hats are trending now, as always. Mm -hmm. Anything else that we need to know about? Yes, tie-dye. And I'm sure oh if God. you guys spend any time on Instagram, you have seen tie-dye um, pajama suits. And I'm so yeah. happy because <laughs> I'm like such Are you all to your tie-dyed out right now? I can't show you the bottom because I'm wearing like Birkenstocks with my socks. I look like a bum right now, but... <laughs> Yeah, I've been living in my little tie-dye or tie-dye tie -dye sweatsuit. <laughs> yes. But yeah, tie-dye is huge right now. Graphic tees, those are selling like crazy. It's just really interesting to see what people are buying, you know, being at home. Yeah, I mean, the, I've definitely seen a lot of the tie-dye sweatsuits and whatnot just because everyone's lounging. And then I've seen people attempting to tie-dye their own <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> some coming out successfully, some total epic fail. But yeah. If you are failing at that, definitely uh, go to Ali's store and get some. <laughs> yep, we got some really cute pajama sets coming. So cool. be on the lookout for that. And what about shoes? You guys always have the best shoes right now. I know as yes. the girls were definitely in and the, the platforms are in right now. So yes. we're at right now to stop. I am so excited. So our new shipment, I have 40 boxes coming to my actual home because we're not at the warehouse every single day. The stores are shut down. But in that shipment, I have really, really cute, like feminine um, strappy heels to go along with dresses and stuff like that. Again, with the espadrilles, we always love our espadrille uh, stacked wedge sandals. Um, and then we have some really cool like snake printed statement booties that would be cute with little like cut off denim shorts if you're going to go to a festival or anything like that if there ever is a festival even a virtual festival just yeah <laughs> up in your living room <laughs> yeah oh that's yeah. awesome um cool and then how can people i mean this obviously has been a rough time for a lot of people and i know you you have been saying that the best way is just to stay positive and kind of live every every day day by day so yeah. what is um What's some advice that you can give to people about how they can support one another? Um, definitely just to be conscious of where your dollar is going. Mm -hmm. I realize now more than ever being a small business owner, just how important small businesses are in America and worldwide. They really do support your local economy. So just being conscious of where you're spending your dollar. If you're ever going to, you know, Let's say you're buying glue, maybe go check out Atelier instead of Walmart and yes. Reno or, you know, just things like that. And then um, even if you don't have money to spend right now, like times are tight for everyone, just even sharing like one of your favorite businesses on social media. That's always something great you can do um, to help support one another. Um, but yeah, I would just say just trying to support your local economy the best you can and um, as a small business owner the best thing you can do I would say is just to really start planning for the future and planning for your reopening strategy and kind of what you're going to do if things go back to kind of how they were so yeah definitely and then how can people support you right now in your business <laughs> well if you are fortunate <laughs> enough to have a couple extra bucks to spend um, you can shop at my online store it's nomadboutique.com if you don't have money to spend, you can always drop a like or leave a comment on one of our photos. It really does help um, us as business owners when you leave comments and like things because Instagram is one giant algorithm. And if you're somebody like me who gets all of our sales through Instagram, then doing things like that really does help us out. Yeah. And just, just the, the cross promoting and marketing in general, I think is so beneficial for for companies and, and small business owners absolutely love it. And yeah. all of the influencers love it because yeah. they <laughs> from it. And I mean, there's no better way I feel like, especially right now than just supporting one another and the small businesses in the community. Yeah. yeah. Doing this, like how you're doing definitely helps me out. So thank you so much. Appreciate yeah. It. I'm so glad that this is your first live and I'm excited to see what you're going to do with it when you do it. Do you have any ideas? Can we get a, a sneak peek of knowledge of what you're thinking? Like for the like live shows? Or yeah. For, um, yes. Okay. So I really, really would love to have models of different 
um, sizes and shapes and different body types. Um, I think it'd be really cool to show how a dress fits on women that have different curves and things like that. Um, I think it'd be really interesting, even just like me versus somebody really small and tiny, seeing how, you know, dresses hit height wise and stuff right. like that would be kind of cool. So I would love to do that and set up like a really cute little room back backdrop in my little hat wall room. And so I have some really good ideas and I'm excited to hopefully get them going soon. So. Yay, like a virtual try on. I love it. Yeah. That's so fun. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Well, thank you. And one thing I want to end with just that I've been doing on all my interviews just to show that there's light at the end of the tunnel and you know, there's stuff to look forward to. So I want to do a rapid fire with you. Okay. So on the count of three, I want to know what your top five things that you're looking forward to at the end of this quarantine. Oh my God. Okay. So my mind immediately goes to food. I'm yeah. really excited. It's all I've been doing. It's really bad. I need to exercise, but I really am super excited to go eat at all my favorite restaurants, go have like a cocktail in Midtown. I'm excited to go to the lake go paddle boarding, just be active outside, get tan, um, yes. and travel. I'm really, really excited. Hopefully be able to safely travel when everything's okay. I'm feeling a little like claustrophobic, but They're uh, crazy. yeah. Is that five things? <laughs> that's, that's good enough. Yeah. Do okay. you have any, any travel future plans that you are looking to go to or that you had that had to be <sighs> canceled? Like maybe a honeymoon? <laughs> Um, well, me and my <laughs> husband, Dylan, I'm, I keep like hesitating because we secretly got married and then we were going to have our real wedding this summer, but okay. we just canceled our oh, wedding. God. <laughs> yeah. So that's been a huge bummer. And then we were going to go on a trip somewhere. I think we were going to maybe try to go to New Zealand or something. We didn't plan it out, but that's yeah. not going to happen. <laughs> well, fingers crossed that this will all be over yeah. soon. And Thank you so much for jumping on with me. Yeah. Tell everyone one more time where they can find you and I'll post this video again and tag you so we can share it of again. Of course, of course. So um, if you live around us, we have stores in downtown Truckee and Midtown Reno. And then if you are somewhere else in the United States or world, you can shop with us at nomadboutique.com. Perfect. Thanks so much, Allie. And yeah. I can't wait to physically see you and come into oh the store God. but this I know. has been great for now and um I appreciate you jumping on yeah thanks for having me it's nice to see you yeah you too have a good day bye bye